Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, on Friday, December 30th, 2011. And uh, closing out the trading year and looking at gold, we are up 10.1%, uh, 10.1% for the year. Uh, this is the 10th year in a row that gold has gone up, and the average yearly return on gold has been a fantastic 17% year over year. Now, gold has been in an intermediate term a downtrend since peaking out here in uh, early November and uh, is still in that downtrend. Uh, you can see this gray line here, which is the 10 day moving average. It's been providing uh, overhead resistance as uh, gold prices have been falling. We got a little bit of a rally today, up 1%. And um, uh, but still below this important 200 day moving average. A lot of traders look at this as a line in the sand. Uh, so gold still weak, uh, although bouncing up, uh, closing at 1564.80. 1564.80. Uh, you can see that we're down below all the key moving averages, and um, you can see now that uh, the uh, blue line, the 50 day moving average, very important moving average, is pointed lower. And you can see the 100 day, the green line starting to roll over. Um, uh, when you get a cross of uh, the uh, um, 50 day uh, below the 200, that's, that would be a further bearish sign here. And it is below the 100. So lots of bearish signals here uh, on the gold. Um, it's nice to see a little bit of a rally here today, but uh, the down, uh, uh, intermediate downtrend uh, is still continuing according to the charts. Uh, we did take out this 1535 area that was made in September, uh, which is also not a great sign. Uh, so let's see where this ends up. But uh, still up a, an impressive 10% for the year versus the S&P 500 that was virtually flat for the entire year. Uh, the NASDAQ was actually down 1.8% on the year. So gold uh, shining again this year. And moving on now to a weekly chart of gold. Uh, we started the year at uh, $1,421.40 and then had a nice rally up uh, in the uh, um, winter and spring and then peaking here in a dramatic way in the summertime uh, here in August and, um, and then uh, going through a dramatic pullback here um, all the way down to the 1535 zone and then making a lower low here uh, this week. Um, so a nice healthy pullback uh, in the metal. Uh, we don't like living under this 40-week uh, moving average here. Not a great sign, um, but uh, we do seem to be getting some support down here uh, in this area of the previous lows at 1478 and 1535. So uh, let's let's see what happens in the new year. Looking at gold on a monthly basis, losing 10.72% this month and slicing this key 10-month moving average. Um, it looks like it may go down and tag uh, the 20-week uh, moving average, which it's done in the past, uh, and that would put it at 1463 in that zone here. Uh, the 10-week moving average is at 1615. So uh, what we'd like to see, what the bulls would like to see, is, is a rally back above this blue line here. But uh, as you can see, the momentum is decidedly up, and it has been for many years. So gold up 10.1% uh, for the year, another up year for gold, 10 in a row. Um, the bull market in gold continues despite the correction. Lots of bears out there right now uh, calling for the end of gold. I don't think so. Um, nothing's changed. There's still a lot of monetary easing going on, and that is bullish for gold. Uh, have a great New Year's, you guys, and we'll see you next year.